This is a simple demonstration how to use your collections books to take notes. So first of all, just knowing how to maneuver through this entire program. So when you log in, you go to the student ebook, and this is what you will see. Over here, you're going to see a list of a whole bunch of different features. I will go through quite a few of these for you. But let's start with this. We're going to go and find one of the assignments that we work with for EN 10A. So we go to contents. And it's going to go over all of these lovely things. We need to go to collection two, the natural world. And it's going to have all of the different selections. I want you to go to when I heard the learned astronomer. From here, you're going to go to read the text. This is the only thing that we'll have to read. If you want to view this a little bit easier, especially if you're working on your Chromebook screen, you go to page view. And then you can just toggle this over so it's larger. It's so much easier to do that. Do not zoom in on your screen because it will take away all of these extra features that you want to have at the ready. So just letting you know, use the toggle to zoom in, not making your screen zoom in. You can also listen to this being read to you. It will not read this background information. And you always want to read this background information. So right now, I would like you to just read that about Walt Whitman. You can always go back and reread this. The audio will take care of it, but because I am using my microphone right now, you would not be able to hear the audio version. But do that on your own as you are reading through this. So as you're reading, you're going to highlight certain things. In Brightspace, you're going to know what to highlight, but right now I'm going to tell you what you want to do. I will be reading this aloud to you, so follow along. When I heard the learned astronomer, when the proofs, the figures, were ranged in columns before me, when I was shown the charts and diagrams to add, divide, and measure them, when I, sitting, heard the astronomer where he lectured with much applause in the lecture room, how soon, unaccountable, I became tired and sick, till rising and gliding out, I wandered off by myself, in the mystical moist night air and from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the stars. First thing I want you to do is notice for any repetition and we're going to highlight this. Do you notice that at the beginning of these first four lines it repeats the word when. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your cursor and you're going to highlight and it's going to pop up add a note. Click on that. From here, it's going to highlight. You can change the different colors. We will keep it yellow right now. And since we don't need to add any extra notes as of this moment, we will press save and continue on to the next one. So you want to be following along with doing this. You can even, if it's just one word, double click on it goes by so much quicker. And you're also going to notice over here your notes. If you want to go newest to oldest, you can see the most recent ones. Last time we double click on when, add the note, which will change the highlighting, and always remember to save. But in this one, what we want to do is we want to add a note about when. Think about this when you're in a classroom and the teacher keeps repeating the same things. They want to emphasize a point and Whitman wants to emphasize a point. But think about how you're feeling 
when a teacher is talking on and on and on and on. The repetition of when makes the person feel just as bored as the student does in this classroom. So you can just put in that. So you have these notes. When you press save, not only will this be highlighted, but you're going to see a little note over here that you can look at at any time. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to underline in yellow, learned astronomer. We're going to break down that word or those two words. An astronomer is someone who studies the stars. We're going to underline this in yellow. Astronomer studies the stars. And if they are learned, it's not like they're in the process of learning. It means they have learned everything there is to know. So this would be someone like a teacher or a professor. And save. So then you know that the learned astronomer is someone who is an expert. And you know how the student feels, you know, they're feeling bored. And we also know that they're feeling bored by using a few words, a common phrase. Can you notice it in these last four lines? Did you find it? Tired and sick, sick and tired another phrase that we use for boredom. So we're going to highlight that the same that we did for when, and we're just going to say also shows boredom. Now, what do students do when they are bored in class, but they have to stay there? Are you listening or are you hearing? Listening means you're understanding. Hearing just means that you hear the sounds. No understanding is going on. What word did Whitman use? Is the student listening or just hearing? He is hearing. Underline these in pink. So we'll change it to pink and we'll go with an underline. And we'll do that for this one, and then we can add our note. Just showing the difference that this is supporting that idea that the student is bored. They are hearing, not listening. All right. The next thing I want you to do is see, so we know that this student is bored, but how do other people feel? The other people in the classroom, what were they doing when this professor was talking? They were applauding. So this shows that everyone else loves the lecture. So let's change this to a pink highlight. So it goes along with that. Other students enjoyed the lecture. We see this <laughs> during the use of the word applause. So what did that student do once they grew sick and tired or tired and sick? They till rising and gliding out. I wandered off by myself. I would like you to underline this in green. <laughs> there it goes. It will be a little bit slow, just so you know. I'm gonna underline this in green. 
in the mystical moist night air and from time to time looked up in perfect silence at the stars. I like that as well too. So the student is going off by themselves and looking up at the stars by themselves. So what is this proving for this student? Do they learn in a lecture hall? Or do they learn someplace better? The student is learning better about the stars outside looking at them than listening to an astronomy professor. And so this is pretty much the theme, the summary of this entire poem. So you want to write it right here. So the student does not learn in a classroom, but they learn outside looking at the stars because again, they were listening to a professor who studies the stars, talking about all this boring stuff, even though other people like it, they grew sick and tired and just decided to learn on their own.